10 minutes later. We're gonna leave off. What is this lag? Thank you. What is this lag? Hello. Anyone home? Oh, Kyle, you need to see my Fix that mainframe connection. This is where I would store the arc scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Fast. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. I put this at right here. Noise. That looks like blood. Blood. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Turn the lights on. See. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Munchie. David Munchie. How did this? What is this? What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's it templates. It's a legacy scan. Okay, that's oh, it. Goodness. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This is freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. 
We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. Brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open. Psychotic asylum patient. Uh, that part. Right. Uh, someone's screaming, or something is screaming. I don't know which door to pick. Oh god, that lag. Oh no, I'm so scared right now. <sighs> Something's brushing up against my leg too. Oh, my dog. Oh, 
Oh my god. No, thank you. Take that big hairy set, yeah. I can deal without that. I can deal without that real nice. for this part. This noise. Is that? Yep, they did. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. You can scare Rango. Don't you do it. What the hell that thing is? What are you playing? Soma. Do you have weapons? No. What kind of game ain't got no weapons? This one? That's stupid. What's up? Oh my god.
Dude, I don't do horror games very well. looking things I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. So now that that's working. I don't think Lando has got any pants on. I want to see where it's at before. I gotta take a piss. Okay, I can hear it getting louder. Later, nerds! Later! Good job, Sam. This better have worked. Get down there again. Oh, that lag. Whew. No. I like the the scene where freaking I don't know if you play League of Legends, but freaking Nautilus comes out of nowhere and ch it's chasing you. I start flipping tits, man. Like you have no idea. Let's load up that chip. Security cipher. A guy named Psychotic Asylum Patient. Oh, Woo. Woo. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group.
That one won't work either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. So, Stromar recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them. Very promising. I'll just load them up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wong. No, 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 no. Why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Mr. Wan, I need your help. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Just be calm. Take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery for a moment. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real. This isn't real. I have to get out of here! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So? What's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wan. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need a favor. I need to know what the new security cipher is. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. I'm trying to save a lot of people. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Let's see if we can find... I guess on... Thing. Okay. I need to go get this chip. Let me stick it in here. Let's try.
try that. Maybe if he comes back into the room, you know, that he was getting scanned, then he should feel alright. That wasn't so bad. This room might really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did he... Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. Please calm down. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! How many times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up. Bastard. What? Where did it? Alice? The scan is done. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Warren? Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. No, it's okay. I promise. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't... Wait! Simon, you just reset the simulation. What's up, T Nation? Unless I can put this somewhere. up eating at a place called Las Trojas. It is a Mexican food restaurant. And it was good, I must say. Can I stick this somewhere? Alright, it's placed over this carrot that's sitting outside the house with the thing. Uh, keep going inside the bottom floor of the house. Hmm. Let's look for David or Brandon Wan, I believe. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Oh, look, I found one. Sweet. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon Wan. Upset over that guy. Well, he said he'd stick around for a little while on it. Took pride in my work. Service stopped sending parts. Did my work. Scanned together with Alice. Brandon mentions a girl named Alice. They did their scans together. Alice Coster? 
We could try to make him think that she's there during the simulation. Might make him talk. Not sure how, though. Keep looking. about the scan. Everyone's being so great. All smiles and regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? The offer still stands. I gratefully accept it. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. Alice and Brandon were definitely in Good. Then we should find a way to incorporate her into the scan. I'll borrow a pack of their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Sinful wreckage is in the corner of the house. I think I just heard Alice talking to Brandon on the intercom. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. Great, this is exactly what we need. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We could trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. How tall am I? I'm actually really short. I'm like 5'7". I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Who wants to get 3 a.m. freaky with me? What do you mean by that, Brian? That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Stromar. He said he needed a new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry. I'm not going to tell anyone. I feel hungover. Okay. <laughs> It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. So another hour? I'm sorry, Mr. Long. Red. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. <laughs>